Hello everyone. Welcome to my talk where I would like to introduce our company and our software tool, which is called Virtual Lab Fusion. And this software is a tool to do physical optics modeling and design. So my name is Stefan Steiner and I'm principal scientist at Lightrans. I'm going to introduce now the company Lightrans and our product Virtual Lab Fusion, which is a physical optics design software. So my name is Stefan Steiner and I'm principal scientist at Lightrans. So before I will introduce the software, let me introduce the company briefly. So I want to introduce the company Lightrans and our physical optics software Virtual Lab. Okay. And my name is Stefan Steiner and I am principal scientist at Lightrans. So Lightrans was founded in 1999 and is now the general distributor of the software. That means it does, it does the sale of licenses, it provides customer support, um, we do customer projects and um, trainings and so on and so on. And for the development nowadays, a second company, which is called Ross Photonics, is responsible, which was founded in 2014. Beforehand, both companies were one company, and the development was also done by Lightrans. And now uh, we have this strategic, let's say, uh, dividing of both companies to have more a strategic um, yeah, focus. Both companies are completely privately owned. Um, that means we are quite independent uh, for in our work. Okay. And together with, so we resell our licenses worldwide and we already sold uh, over 1,000 licenses together with our distributors. Especially for the Asian countries, we have some distributors which uh, help us to uh, yeah, take care of the special, uh, special things in, on these markets. Okay, so our mission is with Virtual Lab Fusion, we want to provide a fast physical optics tool that allows new workflows for modeling and design in optics and photonics. Okay, um, we know that other softwares are currently used, especially in the field of, of ray tracing, which are using ray tracing and so on. But our approach is physical optics. I will come to that a little bit later. So, what are the solutions and the developments we, we provide or we are working on? So, there are a lot of, um, let's say, hot topics nowadays where a lot of uh, development and, and research is ongoing. And most of them are requiring tools that are just provided by physical optics that are not, cannot provide in full by ray tracing. And here are some of these kind of applications. And these are, for example, flat optics. That means special coatings, could be birefringent coatings, gratings, DOEs, diffusers, holograms, metasurfaces then lenses, freeform optics, microstructures, nanostructures, uh, BSDF scattering, and also other applications like light shaping. We have a LiDAR. We have a special toolbox for light guides for AR, MR devices, fiber optics. Microscopy is a quite interesting topic, and also pulses, and so on, and so on. And now let's, let's have a look. Let's have a brief look on what concept Virtual Lab Fusion is based on. I already mentioned that we are, we are doing physical optics, but what does that mean? What's the difference to, to ray tracing? So in general, an optical system starts with some kind of source. And nowadays there are very complex types of sources like LED, uh, laser scanners, uh, laser diodes, Vixel, Vixel arrays, and so on. And for the physical optical approach allows us to model these sources very accurately with all the effects you require. And then the optical system you want to model can consist of very different kinds of optical components. Could be lenses, gratings, DOEs, waveguides, and so on and so on. And now how to model such a complex system with different kinds of components. So for example, here we have a system with lenses, prisms, DOEs, fibers, and so on. How to model that? Now, we have to, for physical optics, we have to solve Maxwell's equations. 
That means we have to make solve of Maxwell's equations for everything, for the, all of the components, the whole propagation. And so we uh, derive our field solvers <clears throat> to do the propagation inside the system or inside an element. And now how these field solvers can look like. And you will uh, come to the point that a single field solver, which can do everything, like the finite element method, FEM or the FDTD, is not a realistic approach in complex system modeling because the, the sampling of a whole system will just kill your computer or just the memory is not enough of your computer and you don't have enough time for the simulation. So our approach is a little bit different. We connect specialized field solvers for the, mod uh, the modeling and uh, the simulation. What does that mean? So we want to solve, we have to solve Maxwell's equations, right? And that allows us to derive field solvers for every different kind of optical element. So that means we have different field solvers, for example, for lenses. We have a field solver for prisms, for micro nanostructures, for fibers and gratings. And the good news is every optical element in Birch Lab comes with at least one field solver, which is automatically inbuilt uh, and automatically chosen by the software if you uh, select such an element. So that means we apply specialized solvers for sp specific elements where these solvers are very uh, accurate and very fast. Okay, and these solvers are then interconnected sequentially and also non-sequentially, if you want, by our technology, which is called field tracing. So that means by this approach, we uh, enable fast physical optics modeling where the CPU time is uh, often just in an order of a few seconds. Okay, and we also develop a completely new theory for that here you can see some some papers from last year and also this year we are going to um, publish papers on that so we have a full theory in, in the background uh, we are not um, publishing everything because some parts are uh, secret but uh, some concepts we we publish in uh, some um, paper um, journals okay and one additional interesting thing is if you if you uh, have a look on the uh, very very famous book of uh, Max uh, Born and Emil Wolf, you there's a there's a chapter about geometrical optic, and we reinterpreted this kind of uh, concept or this chapter that physical optics can be divided into diff different two different branches. We have the branch of diffractive optics and geometric optics, and if you if you have a detailed look, you can see that the, the fast solvers are typically in the geometrical branch, which are still accurate for their application and contain all the information. That means uh, they contain all the information of um, the electromagnetic wave and of the physical optics propagation. And then also for diffractive uh, problems, other field solvers like like uh, the, the RCWA can be used or FEM or su such things, right? But then these solvers will provide um, results very fast because they are applied to their specific sp special um, yeah, tasks. Okay, and the software virtual lab fusion now connects these rigorous and approximate field solvers in these different regions in one system. And Virtual Lab Fusion is a now, can be understood as a platform for inbuilt solvers and customized solvers. That means Virtual Lab comes out of the box with a certain number of solvers that are, can be applied in the optical system or autom are automatically applied, or, and can also be uh, there also uh, can be customized solvers uh, added to the software so that the, uh, the the specific problem of the customer can be solved in a more yeah, easy way, I would say. And another interesting thing is this seamless transition between diffractive and geometrical optics, these two branches also includes the fact that ray tracing is automatically included in physical optics. That means if you take physical optics and you reduce the amount of information of the light propagation and the details of the, your light wave, yeah, then you end up in ray optics. You can directly show that in a mathematical, um, you can derive that from uh, this kind of theory. 
Okay, and what's now the, the, the benefit here? So the benefit of using physical optics against ray tracing is to overcome limitations, this kind of limited amount of information you are working in with ray tracing. And this enables you to get a fresh view on scenarios in optics and photonics and allow new ways to deal with them, to optimize them and to analyze them. Thank you very much for your attention.